All right, hey Ed, so I'm gonna help you out with your little project. So first we're gonna open up Audacity. Um, and when we open up Audacity, you have a nice menu. So what we'll do is we wanna import a song. And so we'll go to the project and then import audio. And then it'll bring up the file menu. And what you'll do is you'll go to the folder where you have your songs. Um, hopefully they're in MP3 format. Uh, so this is my song right here, it's an MP3. Um, I've noticed that if you do like WAV files or M4P files, uh, those are protected and they don't import as nicely. Um, but MP3 files work great, and iPod should be an MP3. So we're just going to take this on. We're going to open it, and now it's imported. And so if I if I if I want to, I can play it. And so there you go. You know it plays and it's playing correctly. And then what I want to do is so you said you have other songs. So what I'll do is I'll say all right, I'm going to import another audio track. And we'll go to this other song that I have here. Um, this is another MP3 song. And so I'll import this. And it takes a little while because this song is a little longer. <clears throat> and now I have both my songs. Now, um, the reason that it looks so odd is this is like a punk song, and it, it's like only a minute long. And then this is a, an electronica song, and it's really long. So what, we wanted, what you said you wanted to do is if you want to uh, have this in like one continuous loop, what you want to do is you want to come over here to this, this button, this is like the move button. It's the time shift tool. So what you do is you click this tool, and then now what you do is you see you have a new uh, cursor control. And you can actually take this, and you can move your audio track over. And you can line it up right there. <coughs> so now, this goes at the end of this. And that's, you know, it's a, it's a pretty good way to do it. Then, so what you want to do is you, uh, after that, uh, what you'll want to do is uh, and I'm just going to do two songs to show you. What you can do is you can record a track now. So you hit record. And the problem is, is that right now what it's doing is it's playing the song. So whatever's playing is also going to get picked up. Um, so I don't know if you heard that, but whatever's playing is going to get picked up. So what you can do is you can mute these tracks right here. If you saw where I did that, there's a little button that says mute. And so you can mute the track. Um, and I'm just going to delete this track uh, because that, that, that's a waste. And what I can do now is I can, now uh, everything's muted and whatever just comes in on my audio is going to come in really well. So now what I'll do is I'll do a record and I'll say testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three, snap, snap. All right, here is uh, my testing track for some audio. Um, when I'm done, I can just hit stop. And now there's my recorded track and I can actually play that. Now, most likely, it's probably you probably can't hear it. Uh, that's because the MP3 files are much better quality than kind of what your computer can record. Uh, so what, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually uh, going to uh, take this track. So I'm actually going to come back up here, and I'm going to do my, my cursor control tool. And I'm going to select this. I'm going to select this song just by clicking over here. And there's a really cool thing if I go to Project. And if I go to Quick Mix, so Quick Mix, if I Quick Mix it, it'll actually um, make it sound better. At least that's what happened. I mean, it can work, it might not. Um, so now it's actually, uh, it's still low. Oh, now I think I know what I did. So what you want to do is I'll stop this, and then I'll unmute this, and I'll unmute this. And now that this data is here, I should be able to Quick Mix all of these things. Um, and so let me try that. Um, I'll select this. Here and go here, another project, quick mix, and oh wait, maybe if I up the gain, and then so if I turn the gain up, then select it, and then quick mix it. Now you can see that this is much better, a much better audio file, and it should, it should work a lot better. Um, so now what I'll do is I'll mute this, and I'll mute this, and now I'll play it. And I'll say testing, one, two, three, testing, one, and two, three. And now you can kind of hear that it's snap, much better. Snap. All right, here uh, is uh, my testing. Much better sounding. And so that should work. Now what I can do is I can just unmute this, and I can unmute this. And then let's say I want to move this track. So I come back up here, and I do my, my time shift tool. And I choose the track, and I move it. And let's say I want to kind of just line it up there. So I'll line it up with the intro to this song. And I'll come back here to the cursor control. And I'll kind of just put it at the end of this cursor at the end of the song just to show you where we'll start. And then... I will hit play. And I'll say testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three, snap, snap. All right, here is uh, my testing track for some audio. Uh, when I'm done, and 
And so, as you can see, uh, now everything kind of plays. This track is a much nicer track. Um, if you want, you can also turn down the music. You can turn down the music. This is just the little gain, the volume knob. So I can actually turn down the music a little bit in both these tracks. And so now it'll actually, it'll these will have less volume. And you can do the same here. You can turn this volume up. You can turn it down. Um, and so that's basically, uh, you know, a really simple way to kind of just mix all of these audio tracks together. Uh, so once you're done with that, then what you want to do is I would save the project. And um, what I would do is I just save this as a test, and um, I'll save that, and then it's saved. And then what I can do is I can go to export as WAV or export as MP3. Um, you can do either one of those. Uh, they'll both go to your iPod. Uh, your MP3 will directly take it. So I would actually export as an MP3, um, and this will it'll mix it. And so I'll just do test MP3. Um, and use it. Oh, I'm sorry. So you'll need to actually get a, an encoder. And so you can just do WAV. So export as WAV. Um, and then you can do that. And you can do test at WAV. And then, yes, I want to replace that. And it's exporting the file now. So now that that's done, what I can do is I can come out here. And here is my test.wav file. And I can open that up, and it'll play. Uh, right, and you can actually hear my voice. And I'll say testing one two three testing one two three snap snap. All right, here is, and that should be uh, the easiest way for you to do this stuff. So I hope this helps.